Welcome, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage in Southern California. Today we're holding uh, our monthly tech meet at Ronnie's Garage. We're going to be talking about Rolls-Royce convertible top woes. So, back to this. So as you can see, these staples are really close to the end of this. So what happens is, is when they put a new top skin on, they glue the top, this part right here, and you got to make sure it's centered and all that kind of stuff. And they get this part where it looking good, and at the end, they'll stretch this down and staple it and then trim the edge. So if you're trying to reuse it, you, you, can't, you can't do that very well. No material. Right, no material. So you've got the wood bow back here. This right here, I hate these. As you can see, this one's really got messed up. Mm. This, I want to try not, I'm going to try to save it as best as possible. I told them it needs replacement. You can't buy them. They don't make them anymore. This is a lead strip that has nails soldered into it. Mm. So it's, it's usually a one-time deal. You put it on. <laughs> When you pull it off, it just, this one got messed up because you kept trying to put the top up. And it pulled itself out. You can see it's almost broken here. Uh, these are a, really a nightmare. And these little things have to screw into it. These are the studs that the clips for the boot go on to. I'll, I told them I don't think I can do it, but I'll try. And whatever it is is whatever it is. Now I have. What's the, what's the alternative? Well, the alternative is, is you make one. Okay, now first of all, to find somebody to work with lead, you're not gonna find anybody, right? So you can buy half round brass stock, which is real fun to work with, right? Yes. Especially when you're talking about, okay, it's gotta go this way, then it's gotta twist and go this way, and then it's gotta lay perfect, right? You can, you can the it. Yeah. Okay, but that's still metallurgy, right? It's not easy. No, I'm just heating it up and then uh, quenching it. It's the opposite to, 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 to um, um, you, you typically you harden steel mm -hmm. by heating it up and quenching it. Right. But um, with brass, it works the other way around. Well, copper, it works the other way around. If you heat it up and let it cool down gently, it'll harden. But if you want to have, keep it soft, you can quench it. Oh, really? Yes. So, okay. No, I, I, see, the reason I'm talking about this is I made one for that conversion I did, that silver cloud conversion. I made one of those. I've been down this road, and it's really a pain. Yeah. The problem is, is making it is no big deal. You can make it so it fits perfectly. You pull it off, you drill the holes, put your nails in, then you bend it to get it to sit on here and start putting nails in, and it bends as you do that. It's really a nightmare. That's why they use lead, because it bends real easy. If it gets bent in one spot, you just take a rubber mallet and kind of flatten it out. Um, another possibility would be aluminum. There's that too. Aluminum rod. And, that, and again, if you, there's various grades of aluminum. Uh, the one to get is the one that has, uh, it, like, um, 20, 20, 24 is a good aluminum mm -hmm. alloy. And then it has a dash and a number. Uh, so how do you solder the nails in? Um, you, you, you use small screws. Okay, so you drill holes, put small screws in there. How do you cover it? <laughs> you have to cover it before you put it on. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's, yeah, I've been down this road. I've thought this way, and it's no fun. That's all I can say. Yeah. Now, to pay a metal guy to make one of those, starting bid would be five grand. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of time and hours. Yeah. Gu guaranteed. And we ran into that. that. That thing right there has the same kind of deal. It had the same kind of nailed in, stupid, one time use thing. Yeah. It's like the plastic cars nowadays. You pull the door panel off, you've got to re replace all the door clips because they're designed to go on once. So, and if you can't get them, now what do you do? Yeah. Right? That's uh, one of the challenges on these, these cars is okay. <laughs> Limited production, not much of a market for the aftermarket. Yeah. I bought a hubcap for my 21-year-old pickup truck out there, Chevrolet. And I'm thinking, oh, I lost it. Shoot, it's going to cost me 100 bucks, $17 on Amazon. Because there's millions of those things out there. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody can knock them off and make money on them. 
It's, it's, the scale is where we run into problems on these low production cars, it's finding parts. Tell me. Hey, Ron, is there any manual release to get the car hood up and down to say the answer that it won't go down? Uh, I go think down. there's a valve. I don't know if about the, I know Jaguar has a hydraulic valve you disconnect. I really don't know. I, you know, I, I have so few problems with these tops. Almost, I've had to do this, I've had to, the last one that was in it didn't bend anything, so I was lucky on that, but I had to do this early this year, I had to do, and it was the first time in 40 years I had to replace one of these, uh, fix one, and now I've got two in the same year. <laughs> the window is, is just isinglass, so you get a new top, they, they put a new one, and it's, it's, it's sealed. Uh, yeah, they will, yeah. They are, the glass ones that they put on the Corniche 4, that's the one good thing about them, is you never have to replace that glass. Oh yeah, there's problems with it. <laughs> there's problems with the rest of the top, but the glass is no big deal, except for when you break it, by having something in that rear package tray when you close the top, or open the top. Any wisdom, guys? Girls? What about the height control on that car? That what about it? It's sitting low. This is a mineral oil car. A lot of them... Let, let me put it this way. They're designed to hold their minimum standing height. Uh, when the system depressurizes when the car sits, it's not uncommon for them to drop down. If you want to spend the money, you can make them back the, the way they were. I never recommend it, because as soon as you run it for two, three minutes, it's up to normal height, and there's no leaks, and there's, it rides good, there's no reason to. So this doesn't have coil springs in the back? Yes, it does. You can shim the springs and reset the hydraulics. They have a minimum pressure uh, valve in there that maintains a minimum pressure in the gas springs. This one needs gas springs, so it's, it's kind of hard in the back. <laughs> Absolutely. I look in the mirror, I see my dad, and I see all this fleshy stuff hanging down. I go, oh well. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. That's all I can say. I'm grateful every day. Any other questions, guys? No? Don't do this. <laughs> That's all I can say. Don't do this. Make sure your tunnel's off before you put the top down. Right. Like a person. Right. Right. But in his defense, he just bought the car. Oh. He picked it up with the top down. Uh. Put it up. Dang, exactly. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> But what bothers, what bothers me about that whole scenario you gave, the if you saw the damn thing wasn't going up, why well, keep on pushing the button? Because you're what? looking forward. <laughs> I, I you're I waiting a, for it to come, right? I, I try to figure out why, too. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do when I get this all working again. I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna do my rubber hammer thing. I'll spend an hour just to try. Because I'm, I'm charging a lot of hours. Because first of all, I don't want to. Too good to even come here. Uh, well, I'm looking at thinking, like, even if you're successful in getting a model, sure, sure. like, 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 like bands on you or something. Oh, yeah, that no, always happens. Right. See, what you, what, what you tell, what I'm hearing, though, you say that back bow, you have to, if you need that back bow, you need to change the whole top. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. And the problem with the bow back here is it's wood, and over years, as you can see, these, they're supposed to use stainless staples, so they shouldn't rust. But moisture gets in there, and it gets a dry rod, and it's it's laminated, so it's like plywood. So it just starts falling apart. Okay. Daimler.
the one that had that bent arm that I pulled off. And the headliner and the top. if you guys remember the condition this strip was in. This is a lead strip that was tweaked. Uh, I got it back on and straight, but he can't really put the boot back on it because it's not very firm. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Ryan. Good job. I'm going to go too. All right. Did you enjoy? Let's go.